As of right now, the Pokemon Trainer Galleries from Sword and Shield might be the best investment opportunity for singles. The Sword and Shield alt art boom that has happened over the last two months is well and truly underway. And for a huge chunk of these cards, they are just not attainable anymore without dedicating a huge portion of your budget to that one card. If you've seen any of the market recently, you'd notice that the Trainer Galleries are also starting to increase in price but only a select few are doing so. The rest of the cards are extremely affordable. And what that opens up the opportunity to do is to buy a number of copies of a bunch of the Trainer Gallery cards. Before we get into that, hit like, hit subscribe, let your friends know and hit notification bells. I appreciate it so much. So at the moment, there have been about 12 Trainer Gallery cards which have significantly increased in price. We have the two Umbreons, the two Sylveons, the two Mimikyus, the two Pikachus, the Garchomp, the Rayquaza, the Blaziken and the Starmie. Everyone's priced out of the Umbreons and the Sylveons from Evolving Skies and even the Rayquaza to be honest. So that's why those cards have shot up in price because as I always say, people will be happy with the next best thing when they can't get their hands on the best thing. These Mimikyu cards and these Pikachu cards look unbelievable and the rest of the era gave them basically no love at all apart from a little bit in Vivid Voltage so that's why they're going up. Literally everybody loves Garchomp and Cynthia so that's why that's going up and the exact same reasoning behind Starmie and Misty as well as Waifu Tax. And actually now I think about it, the Blaziken is the exact same reason for the Umbreon, Sylveon and Rayquaza. And from this bunch, I've made the conscious decision to invest in these eight specifically. The Umbreons because there's been a slight decrease and I think the whole era is just defined by Umbreon. So I don't think there's a problem picking up any more Umbreons. Sylveon because it's just an amazing card and it's still relatively affordable. The Mimikyu is also very affordable and basically no love was given to it throughout the era. So I think it's a really nice card. And I think the V is actually better than the V Max. The Starmie and the Garchomp for exactly the reasons why they are so expensive. But I still think they're going to rise. So I'm going to invest in them now. And then the Pikachu because how can you have a whole era with only one decent Pikachu all the way back in Vivid Voltage. It just doesn't work like that. People are gonna want a Pikachu card and so I'm picking up the VMAX because it looks sick. And the exact same reason for the Rayquaza as I said about the Umbreon. So those are the cards which have already increased in price from the trainer galleries and some of them are quite expensive. But the whole trainer gallery is not like that. In fact, there's a whole bunch of cards which are still available at literally less than three or four dollars. And I want to touch on those today. So what I've done is I've collated 20 trainer gallery cards which are less than $10 and in some cases less than $5 and I want to buy numerous copies of them. Now just a little bit of background on how I rate trainer gallery cards. For me, each trainer gallery card falls into one of four categories. So the best trainer gallery cards and the number one category is a card which has a great trainer and a great Pokemon. Next down, you have a card which has a really cool and loved Pokemon, but maybe a trainer which isn't loved so much. I think the Pokemon carries more weight than the trainer, so that's why it's second and not third, which is a card with a better trainer than a Pokemon. And right at the bottom, we have the cards with a boring trainer and a boring Pokemon that is not really cared for by the community, and I'm not bothering to invest in those at all. So the majority of my investments are gonna be in that top bracket. There'll be a few from the next bracket and maybe a couple from the bracket below, but nothing from the lowest bracket. In the long term, although they're not gonna go up leaps and bounds like a lot of the other cards because trainer gallery cards are so readily available and they do start off so cheap, these cards, in my opinion, should go up in the long term, making them viable investments, especially if you're buying numerous copies of them. So starting us off from Brilliant Stars, we have the three original evolutions and the EV card they're all sitting at between like three and five dollars and if you bought a bunch of each of them it would just be such a smart purchase in my opinion all four of these pokemon are original gen 1 pokemon they're iconic pokemon and they're loved by everyone little side note vaporeon is the best of the three just putting that out there and also blue is another loved pokemon trainer that combination of trainer and Pokemon and how cool these cards look and how cheap they are now just makes so much sense to invest in these cards for a long term hold. Next up, continuing with Brilliant Stars, a Pokemon which I think is getting so much more love at the moment than it was before. And that is Urshifu, specifically the Rapid Strike VMAX version. Firstly, it's sitting at under $6 so it's really cheap and the art is so, so sick for this card. That, coupled with the increased appreciation for Urshifu, just makes this a smart investment, in my opinion. We know that in Battle Stars there was an amazing Urshifu VMAX card, but even that card is getting quite expensive at like $60 to $70. And this card looks really sick, so people trying to complete the trainer gallery, or people who like Urshifu, or people who like really cool art styles, or people who like really cool VMAXs, will 100% be open to buying this. And rounding up Brilliant Stars, we have Acerola's Premonition. Personally, I see Ace Roller as one of the most appreciated trainers 
from Sun and Moon. And this card has a really cool, wholesome feel to it. So I think in the long term, this card goes up. If I'm being honest, when it comes to trainer gallery cards, I was trying to pick Pokemon related trainer gallery cards. And although this isn't one of them, I think it's one of the better trainers from the whole trainer gallery. And there was a time where we saw it peak at around $13. So the fact it's sitting at around $6 at the moment means that it probably will go up to that value again. Well, I think so anyway, and it's a good purchase to make. Next up, we have the three Galarian birds from Astral Radiance. The Galarian birds are getting a whole lot of love from people, and especially that Moltres is having an amazing card in Chilling Rain, it makes this a no-brainer for a pickup for those who want the next step down. That card is really expensive, and these all being under $10, and in some case probably you can find them for under $5, they're great purchases going forward. If I'm being honest, the Articuno for me actually looks hideous. Like it looks like a general, normal V card, but I don't make the rules. And people like having this set and people like the Galarian Birds. So the fact that the Moltres looks good, the Zapdos looks good, I think they'll buy the Articuno again to complete this set. But the Moltres is one that I would try and pick up relatively quickly if I were you. It's already started to pick up some traction and the price is creeping above $10. Moving on to, in my opinion, the best trainer gallery of the whole era, Lost Origin. First up, we're going for the Pikachu VMAX, the secret rare version. In all honesty, I'm not a fan of these cards altogether, but this one looks okay. For me, it's solely the fact that I don't think we're ever going to see cards that look like this specifically again and as i mentioned i don't think there were many good pikachu cards printed in the era it's a different card it's cheap and i think it's worth picking up in the long term next up is gengar this is for the sole reason that gengar is loved and this is one of the best looking trainer gallery cards we have ever had it is going up in price but it's still relatively affordable and there isn't much else to say about this gengar so grab it while you can i think this is a great pickup this next card I'm literally not even going to spend 20 seconds talking about. It's the exact same reasoning I gave for Gengar and it's cheaper. It hasn't gone up yet by this Snorlax. You can't have a Pokemon singles investing video without talking about Charizard. So here is this one cameo. And to be honest, this Charizard here is banging. It looks super cool. It has started to increase, but it is so cheap. If I were you and you could, I'd buy like five copies of this thing. It's a cute Charizard, which we never see. So why wouldn't we buy it? I think it looks cool. Even with the Charizard fatigue that pretty much the whole community seems to have, it's a Charizard and it's cheap. It's a no brainer for me. Next up, another Pikachu card, probably the most frequent Pokemon on this list, but this is a cool looking card. It's got a really cool vibe. The guy's seriously sick you just sleep in there chilling and uh, dawn everyone loves dawn so why wouldn't we pick up this card plus it's really cheap at the moment and actually i think of all the cards we've seen other than the original v max from the start of the video this is the best looking pikachu we have again like gengar it's going up it's nearly six dollars so pick it up sooner rather than later next up from lost origin again I told you there are so many lost origin trainer gallery cards to choose but we have the galade v sick looking card everybody loves galade banging trainer there's literally nothing bad about this card and it's sub three dollars pick up 10 such a sick card i'm gonna say the exact same thing for this crobat v card as I did about gallade cool looking pokemon sick looking card sick trainer silver is cool and we finally move away from lost origin we're at silver tempest this superior v card is one of the best looking trainer gallery cards in the whole set this is actually one of those cards where the Pokemon and the trainer are cool, but the background gives it the sickest vibe. It's the main mountain from Generation 5. The Una region is one of the best regions and is a game that we have all played. Superior is a cool Pokemon and the protagonist from the game is a cool trainer to have alongside it. Our final trainer specific card, Friends in Gala. In my opinion, of the three Friends in series, this is probably the worst. I think Sinnoh is the best, Hisui is second, Gala is third. But I can just tell right now that these three cards as a set are cards that people are 100% gonna wanna have in their collection to display. It's relatively affordable in the terms of trainer gallery cards, and I think it's gonna go up in price over time, and I think there'll be plenty of buyers in the future. So we spoke about Gallade, now we're talking about Gardevoir, who has Diane next to her. Now, I didn't choose the Gardevoir from Lost Origins specifically because this Gardevoir here looks majestic. Like, this Gardevoir looks beautiful, the card itself has an aura about it, it's super cool, and it's dirt cheap. Genuinely, we're talking sub $1. And as I said, these aren't investments that are going to make you $30, $40. But if we think of investments as percentage increases, if you buy this card for $1 in a couple years down the line, it may be $3. That's a 200% increase. If you believe that this card is going to go up and you buy numerous copies of them, you may buy enough to actually make a substantial profit. And the exact same thing goes for this Milotic from Silver Tempest again, one of the best looking trainer gallery cards we got. Wallace is a sick trainer, Milotic looks majestic. 
Such a cool looking Pokemon, so sleek. And the card itself, the art style is second to none. Again, sub dollar, so exactly what I said before stands for this. And that right there brings us to the end of the trainer gallery analysis, as well as the 20 cards which I think you should invest in, which are sub $10. Now, I really want to reiterate this because I know people are going to say in the comments, oh, how are you going to make money? You're going to get like four pounds in two years. That's nothing. I know. I know. And that's why you need to pick a handful that you truly believe are going to go up in price and buy numerous copies of course it's hardly an investment if you put three dollars in and you get five dollars in two years time but if you buy numerous copies that three dollars could be thirty dollars and that five dollars could be fifty dollars in absolute value twenty dollars may not be the biggest amount of money but a percentage gain of eighty percent is really not that bad. So these investments are geared more to people starting out in the investment journey or those people who want to round out their portfolio and have cards which appeal to a larger audience. So let me know down below, did I miss anything out or do you guys agree with my list? What's your favorite trainer gallery card or trainer gallery set? I'd love to know down below in the comments. And until next time, hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends and hit notification bells. I appreciate you getting to this point in the video.